In this video, you are going to learn how to edit like Ronnie Gracia, the famous photographer on Instagram. Coming up. Hi everyone, I am Harshwardhan and welcome to another superb episode and this is the video number 3 in the series of how to edit like famous photographers. And in this particular tutorial we are going to learn how to edit like Roni Gracia. He is a famous photographer from Colombia and you can see his profile is really really amazing on Instagram. So the common thread between all of his images is that what he basically does, he makes the leaves some kind of a cyan towards the blue side and keeps the texture of the image as it is and just do some motion blur or the spin blur and that's exactly we are going to do you can see there are so many images and this is the common between all of his images that he makes the leaves cyan or blue and sometimes even makes the dress blue as well and keep the natural skin tone of the image all right so you can see over here as well he had turned this dress into something like this which is his i think the signature style so we are going to learn exactly how to do the same in adobe photoshop and if you have not followed me on instagram please do follow me on instagram you can follow me on instagram and this is my profile at harshwardhan art you can find me and please do follow me on instagram i post my latest work and some photography and photo editing related question answers stories and many useful tips and tricks so please do follow me on instagram at harshwardhan art and before we go any further if you have not subscribed to this channel please consider so because over here you will find lots of tutorials on photography photo editing and much more so having said that let's get started so for this purpose i have selected this image you can download this image as well in the link is in the description section below and if you want you can follow along so basically we are taking an image where the model is standing against the leaves or the plants so that we get lots of leaves and now we are going to edit it something like Ronnie gracia so first of all we will create a duplicate copy of it by pressing ctrl j or command j and then we'll go to the filter and select the camera raw filter and in the camera raw filter we will first press the auto okay and then we'll go to the camera calibration and in the camera calibration we'll play with the red green and blue primary so let's first play with the blue primary and click and drag this slider towards the cyan side and increase its saturation to something like this and then green as well click and let's see where we can take it maybe on this side towards the green side on the plus side and let's increase its saturation a little bit and over here in the red primary we'll click and drag it towards the plus side and increase the saturation a little bit and let's add more cyan and more green and then let's come to the hsl panel which is over here and in the hue panel uh, let's go to the blues and click and drag it towards the cyan side and in the aquas click and drag it towards the 
cyan side something like this and let's add more blue if you want or let's keep it something like this and let's play with the purple all right purple is not present let's play with the red okay and let's come to the saturation and such increase the saturation of aquas little bit and of the blues and let's come to the luminance and come down to the blue and decrease the luminance of the blue so that this leaves or these leaves become little darker and of the aquas as well make it darker or if you want you can increase it but I think I'll go for something like this and let's come to the split toning and in the split toning we have the highlights and we have the shadows so in the highlights let's increase first of all the saturation a little bit so that we can see what's going on and then click on the hue slider and drag it until you find a place where you start to see these leaves as blue I think over here on the blue side little bit and increase the saturation and similarly in the shadows click and drag it first increase the saturation a little bit otherwise you won't be able to see what you are doing all right so i think over here this one is looking good increase the saturation a little bit all right and that's it and if you will press p on your keyboard you can see this is before and this is after and now if you want to save this setting for the future use just click over here on the presets and click on this hamburger menu and select save setting and basically you can just uncheck the treatment profile white balance exposure contrast highlights shadows where white blacks whites clarity dehaze vibrance saturation and let everything as it is all right and thereafter i'm going to save it and i'm going to save it with the name of ronnie grace sia so basically you can download this preset as well from the link in the description section below if you want and if you don't want to waste that much of time and thereafter you need to press ok and once done you can see now we have got this kind of a image and now what we are going to do we are going to mask it out so that this only affects the background and not the entire image so we'll click on this mask icon by clicking over here and that would create a mask and now we'll select the brush tool and we'll choose the soft as soft round brush and with let's say 50% opacity and make sure this foreground color is black if it is not press D on your keyboard to make it default and now start painting on the face and I am using the tablet here pen tablet of the Wacom and this is the smaller one and link of this is in the description section below if you want to check this out you can check this out and this also helps you to paint or retouch specially portraits and if you are into digital painting as well that would really help you out initially it takes a little bit time to learn how to use it but once you are used to it you won't like the mouse all right initially you have to just play with the this pen and you might even get frustrated with the this tablet because this is very very light and it's very sensitive and it works very smoothly all right and if you have accidentally over painted somewhere just press the x to flip this color to the white and then paint it back all right so you can see now we have done it 
and let me show you before and after let me save this very quickly so that I may not lose my work because you never know when Photoshop may get crashed let me purge some of my memories because I'm recording at the same time as well and now let's work on this background so let's make it little bit darker so let's go to the adjustment and create a curves adjustment and make sure you click on this clipping mask icon which is over here so that way it is going to affect only the this layer of the background of which we have changed the background and now click and drag it inside create a point on the shadows and drag it inside and create one point and drag it outside maybe something like this or let's go to the blues and let's add some blues in the shadows so you can just click and drag this slider or this curves on the top and click on the top this point and let's drag it inside let's add more blue okay let's get back to the RGB curve and click and drag let's make it little darker from the highlight side as well something like this so this is how it is going to look after we have just applied the curves adjustment and le now let's add one levels adjustment so click on the levels and in the levels so we have three sliders one for the shadows one for the midtone and one for the highlights so let's click and drag it to make it even darker and make sure this is also clipped to the underlying layer so you have to press this button and in the midtone I think I will open up the midtone and let's make it darker a little bit and let's change it to the blue color and click in the middle I think okay I think we don't need to touch this and let's go for the green one let's see okay drag it little bit on the right side plus 8 and bring the mid tone to something like this and okay don't touch the highlights let's go for the red one and let's try to add little bit red and to the highlights as well okay and now you can see by turning this on and off the before and after we have applied the levels adjustment now save your work all right and now we are going to create a merge copy of it and we will keep it as a background so for that purpose we'll press ctrl or alt shift e or command option shift e and that would create a stamp copy of all the visible layers all right and now we'll select the lasso tool from here or you can simply press the l on your keyboard and let's select the model and let me cover this area as well and thereafter we'll press shift and backspace and that would open up the fills command and in the fills command you have to select the content aware and thereafter just need to press ok and what is basically going to do it is going to fill out the model according to the background alright so you can see now it has filled the 
background or the model with the background so we got a result of something like this which is not the perfect but yet it can work for us because we are going to place the model on the top of it all right so let's work on the background little bit more so let's save it and let's call it bg so if you just double click on the rename a name panel you can easily change its name to anything you want all right so now we have got the background and let's create one vignette around the background so for that purpose we'll click on this little icon and select the gradient and in the gradient we will select this black and transparent gradient which is over here if it is not visible over here go to the this setting icon or cogwheel icon and select the this is neutral density so if we'll click on this select the append and all of these black to transparent option would be available for you and we'll press ok and thereafter in the gradient fill we'll change its style to the radial and we'll check on this reverse so that it makes the effect reverse and click and drag the center towards here and let's increase this scale something like this and press ok now you can see the before and after so it makes the edges more darker and that way we'll be having the focus on the model and now let's add some light over here so for that purpose we need to click on this new layer icon create a new layer all right now let's select this orange color which is over here from the swatches panel if it is not over here go to the windows and select the swatches and those color swatches would be available over here or you can simply click on the foreground color just double click it and you can choose the color which is something like this if you want to note down the number which is not important basically you have to have a less saturated orange color and then press ok and thereafter we will select the brush tool again the soft edge brush and we will paint here so if you are using the pen tablet you have to paint number of times and then change its layer blend mode to let's say color doge and press ctrl t command t and let's by pressing alt and shift and resize it so that way it's going to resize from the center so let me make it something like this and press enter choose the move tool or the this move tool okay and click and drag it to something like this over here and lower down the opacity if you want something like this okay and now let's bring up the model on the top so we'll select this layer or background layer and we'll press ctrl j command j and we'll call it model and drag it on the top so we'll click and drag it on the top and now we have got the model but we need to mask out the model and you can see we have already created one mask over here on the background initially so we'll press and hold alt or option and click on this mask icon and drag it on the model Oops. select the mask first press alt and keep holding the alt or option and let's drag it on the model and that way we can copy this mask to the model this image and thereafter press ctrl i or command i to invert the mask and you can see this is not the perfect mask we have not just covered everything so now we need to work on this little bit further so we'll choose the brush tool with the black color and start painting oops with the white color start painting on the model so that this model is visible you can even use the 
selection method like pen tool and other things if you want to but I'm just using the brush tool to mask it back if you have the pen tablet then this work becomes very easy painting on certain part so you can easily paint and mask out certain area so that is another benefit of the pen tablet and you don't need a fancy tablet which is costly one you can work with the basic as well and once you are used to it you can buy the better one later on so I am also using the basic one and you can see there is a problem on this side so I'll press X to make the foreground color black and then paint over here and you can keep on flipping between black and white make the size of the brush smaller if you have to and if you'll paint with the black color it's going to hide it and with the white color it's going to make it visible all right so now we have masked it out but there is a problem over here so let's fix it so let's use the pen tool and let's create the path so basically you have to click and drag oops you need to select the path from the top otherwise we'll get this shape so let me undo it so select the pen tool and from the top change it to the path by clicking on this drop down menu so it should be the path and then you can click once click another point and drag to make it curvaceous all right and let's close this back and press control click on the this one and click and drag this point back oops to adjust it you can adjust this handle all right this is good on this side and then make the selection click on the selection and make the feather two and press ok and now we have got the selection so now we can easily work on this so we'll choose the brush tool again default color black and make it the foreground color as white and paint inside it oh oops we have not selected the mask so let me undo it we have to be careful while doing this because sometimes we forget that we are working on the model and not on the not on the background all right so now you have to make sure you select the mask and thereafter using the brush tool with the white color paint on it okay and then we are going to inverse the mask so that we can paint on this side as well so we'll go to the select and select the inverse or you can simply press shift ctrl i and this time with the black color we are going to paint over here Oops. and press ctrl d to deselect it and now you can see we have done it successfully and now let's work on the background a little bit more so we'll apply a uh, radial blur on the background so for that purpose we'll turn off this model layer first and create a stamp copy by pressing ctrl alt shift e or command option shift e so we have got this background and now we'll apply the radial blur so we'll select the model and make sure you select the background layer and then go to the filter blur 
and choose the radial blur choose the radial blur and let's spin it make sure you select the method as spin and amount let's say 10 but which is by default and press ok and let's see what happens oops it has made it way too much so we'll press ctrl z to undo it and we'll right click and select the convert to smart object and then we'll again go to the filter blur and choose the radial blur and this time we'll choose the amount let's say 3 and press ok and this is even too much again so now we have made it a smart filter so we can click on this filter just double click it and it's going to open once again and this time let's make it 2 and press ok let's see what happens alright 2 is also not good so let's go back and make it 1 and press ok alright so now we have got little bit spin in the background you can see if you want you can lower down its opacity as well but I'm not going to do this because I think this one is just fine for me so now let's work on the model this time and before we work on the model let's create this duplicate copy of this light once again so we'll press ctrl j command j and move this layer on the top click and place it on the top and let's readjust this version and lower down its opacity and let's try to change this Dermalan mode to overlay or soft light or let's say hard light I think it's looking good on overlay and readjust this position to something like this and now we are going to work on the model so we are going to let's say change its dress color to the red that way it's going to stand out and would look much better so for that purpose we'll come to the adjustment and select the hue and saturation layer and click on this hand icon and click and select this blue color and now you can see in the channels panel blue is already selected and then we'll click on the hue slider on the top and let's slide it where we can see the red all right so this is the red one something like this increase the saturation but you can see we have still missed some of the blue leaves on her dress so for that purpose we'll click on this target option and let's drag it to this side and that way you can see we can cover more of the areas but it also got affected the background but don't worry we are going to fix it so let me just expand it little bit further and now you can see we'll press the control i or command i or you can select the mask and paint on the background so i'll choose the brush tool and with the black color we are going to paint on the background so that it doesn't affect the background or what we can do we can simply just copy this model mask and by pressing alt or option and clicking and oops let me select the mask first by pressing alt or option and dragging it on this layer and press yes and now you can see it has only affected the model and not the background and there is a problem over here which is not red little bit so let's try to make it even red so select this double click it and choose the blue and let's play with the colors and select this hand tool and make a selection of this color and let's change it back 
let me select this color let me zoom in make a selection of this color I think we need to create one more adjustment layer and this time let me again select this color and change its hue to the red lower down the saturation and let's play with the lightness and expand this and then press ctrl i command i to invert it and using the brush tool let's paint only on the model dress with the white color so that this blue area also becomes red all right so now you can see we have made the dress red and let's play with the color even further increase the brightness or darkness let's play with the saturation all right i think this is just fine and now let's work on the skin tone so you can see skin is already smooth we just need to use the dose and burn method to dose and burn the skin or the face and for the dose and burn we'll choose the adjustment layer and select a curves adjustment and we'll click and drag it inside so that would become the burn image or by the burn layer and we'll change its layer blend mode to luminosity that way it is not going to affect the colors and create one more curves adjustment and this time click and drag it outside so that would be the dose layer and change its layer blend mode to luminosity as well and select the bottom one and then go to the image and select the apply image and this is by default multiply make sure the blending mode is multiply and the layer is let's say merged and press ok and that's going to create a mask let me show you based on the image and similarly we'll go to the top one and select the image and select the apply image and this time we'll check this invert option and we'll press ok and you can see it has also created a mask so wherever there is a white color this would be applied and wherever there is a black color this layer would not be applied so i think it has reversed the effect which we want so we'll press ctrl i or command i to invert the mask and similarly for this one as well ctrl i or command i to invert the mask and now we'll click on this blank space that would open up the fx panel and in the blend if option we will go to this option which is the underlying layer and this is a burn layer so we'll press and hold this slider and take it towards the darker side and we'll press alt or option and make it something like this and we'll split this slider by pressing alt or option so that way we get the smooth transition and we'll press ok similarly we'll do the same for the those layers so we'll double click it go to the blend if option and this time we want it to affect only the highlights so we'll press alt or option and click and drag it towards the highlights and this one as well and press ok and thereafter we'll group both of these together and we'll change its layer opacity according to our liking so you can see it has dosed and burn the layer so we have got something like this result or if you want you can even change its layer blend mode to let's say 
soft light so that would be very tiny effect or go to the overlay but i think the normal one is looking good so we have dosed and burn it a little bit further and if you want it to restrict only to the model then you can create a mask by pressing alt or option and that would create a blank mask and in the black mask now we will paint only on the model so we'll choose the brush tool with the white color and paint on the model so that way it would be visible only on the mirror model so you can see now turning this on and off it has quickly dose and burn the model all right let's work on the eyes so let's create one new blank layer move in and choose the brush tool with the white color start painting on the eyes so wherever you see the highlights just paint over that and change its layer blend mode to overlay so you can see we have got little bit more brighter eyes and now finally we'll go to the adjustment and we'll color grade it even further so we'll select the selective color option from here and at this moment it is the red selected so now we will work on the red so let's click and drag it towards this side minus side minus 24 and increase the magenta and let's work on the yellow little bit and let's make it darker and let's go to the yellow let's play with the yellow as well and then let's go for the green let's add cyan to the green magenta so basically you have to play with these sliders and to go for the look you want and let's select the cyan increase the cyan and magenta and let's go for the blue all right and let's go for the neutral color and select the black color and play with this as well all right so you can see by the this turning this on and off we have color graded it even further and now let's the let's apply the final step and we'll create a new blank layer and change its layer blend mode to the soft light and select the sky blue color or the cyan color from the swatches panel choose the brush tool and increase its size and place it paint little bit on one place press ctrl t and let's resize it to make it little larger something like this okay 
and you can see it has added little bit more spark of light and let's crop it little bit for the Instagram so I have selected the crop tool and in the preset panel this is the preset 4 by 5 and let's readjust the model something like this and press enter and now let's add little bit light on the face of the model so for that purpose we'll select the adjustment layer select the curves adjustment and we'll click and drag it outside to add little bit light and we'll press ctrl i or command i to invert the mask and choose the brush tool white color soft edge brush with 20 percent opacity let's paint on the face of the model So that way only the model would be lighter or its face would be more visible and if you want you can paint little bit on the top because light is coming from this side all right so you can see and there are some distraction in the background so let's fix them as well so create a new blank layer zoom in and select the spot healing brush tool which is over here and make sure the sample all layers is selected and just paint on these objects so you have to just paint and it's going to fix it automatically and this one as well we have to make sure that there is no distraction all right and this one as well i think this one is now looking much better you can see all right and now the final step and once more i will use the dose and burn to shape the face of the model even further so for that purpose i'll use my dose and burn action and this is basically similar to this one so let me just go for that and if you want you can just download that action as well from the link in the description section below okay so now i got the dose and burn action applied so let's first work on the blur and choose the brush tool and it makes the image black and white so that we can easily see what's going on and start painting on the shadows with lower opacity around 10 percent so wherever you see the dark area just paint on that so you have to paint on the face or the uh, darker areas wherever you see the dark areas and with the white color and you can see just with the this burn layer we have shaped the face and now let's work on the doors and this time we have to paint on the highlights so zoom in a little bit and make sure the opacity is low otherwise it won't look good all right so you can see now i have painted it so you can see by turning this on and off it has shaped the face but we are going to lower down its effect a little bit so let's bring it down to something like this so that we get the natural look and select the burn layer once again and let's paint here on the background so we are going to make this little darker so that the entire focus remains on the model okay so you can see now this is before and this is after and we'll finally do the final sharpening so we'll press ctrl alt shift e or command option shift e to create a merge copy 
and change this layer blend mode to linear light and then go to the filter other and we'll choose the high pass and we'll choose the radius of 1.2 and press ok and it's going to make everything sharper but we don't want that so we'll press alt and click on the mask icon alt or option so that way we'll get a blank mask and using the brush tool with the white color we are going to paint on the eyes and on the lips to apply the sharpening only on this part and on the hairs all right so now our editing is done so let me select all these layers and press ctrl g to group them together and show you the full screen so this is our final result we have started from this image and we have turned it something like this which is similar to the ronnie gracia on instagram so thank you so much i hope you have enjoyed this episode if you did hit the like button if you did not like the video hit the dislike button if you have any question or if you want to say something you can leave that in the comment section below and if you want me to make a video on any particular subject or on topic do leave that in the comment section below and if you have not followed me on instagram do follow me on instagram my profile is at Harshwardhan Art. You can find me on Instagram with the name Harshwardhan Art. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, please consider so because here you will find lots of exciting and amazing tutorials on photography, photo editing and much more. So once again, thank you so much. Bye bye. See you in the next episode. Till then, keep shooting and unleash the creative in you.